welcome back to the Dynamite Explorers program. Um, this is week two. My name is Anna. Um, and last time we learned all about the origins of the dinosaurs and some information about them as a species, uh, when they existed, what they looked like, what groups they belonged to, all this kinds of stuff. Um, so if you missed it, uh, make sure you go back and find it um, and check it out on our YouTube channel. Now this week, we are going to learn about one of the most famous dinosaurs that ever lived, probably the most famous dinosaur that's ever lived, the Tyrannosaurus rex. So when and where did the Tyrannosaurus rex live? A Tyrannosaurus rex lived 68 to 66 million years ago during the Maastrichtian age of the Upper Cretaceous period. And they lived in the area that we know today to be Western North America. Um, so like Canada, Washington, Montana, Oregon, that whole area um, up in the upper Western North America. Um, but at the time it would have been referred to as Laramidia. So remember this chart from last week, we talked about how we were gonna pinpoint exactly when the dinosaur lived. And you see this arrow here that comes all the way around this is when the T-Rex lived. That's it. That's the only time that they lived. So all this time that the dinosaurs existed, T-Rex didn't exist up until this very last time during the Mesozoic era. And this is where the T-Rex lived. So this map on the left is the past. So this is what um, North America used to look like. And it's divided here into two different areas. So you have Appalachia here, on the right, and then you have Laramidia here on the left. And Laramidia, this is the area where the T-Rex lived. And he really would have been located in this upper area, in this northern part. And then this is what North America looks like today on the right. This is what the present of North America looks like. And this star right here, this blinking star, that's where we live in Texas. But T-Rex would have probably lived in this area over here. So even if the T-Rex were around today, we wouldn't have run into each other. So how did the Tyrannosaurus rex get its name? Well, it's pronounced Tyrannosaurus and their name comes from the Greek words Tyrannos, which means tyrant and Sauros, which means lizard. And they are largely considered to be one of the fiercest and strongest dinosaurs that ever walked the planet, which is how they got their name. And the fun fact, Tyrannosaurus rex is actually a species name. So even though the Tyrannosaurus is most commonly known by Tyrannosaurus rex or T-Rex, their genus name is Tyrannosaurus and their actual species is Tyrannosaurus rex. So just as humans, we belong to a genus called Homo, but our species name is Homo sapiens. And it's just the same for the Tyrannosaurus rex. Um, and Tyrannosaurus rex means king of the tyrant lizards. So when was the Tyrannosaurus rex discovered? Well, the Tyrannosaurus rex was first found and excavated, which means the fossils were taken out of the ground in 1902 by a man named Barnum Brown in Eastern Montana. So we've got the map here, and then this is Montana in the red, and the arrows are pointing to the Eastern side of Montana. So that area is where the Tyrannosaurus rex fossils were first discovered. Um, but they weren't given their name until three years later when a man named Henry Fairfield Osborne decided to name him Tyrannosaurus. So what do the Tyrannosaurus rex look like? I know a lot of you probably already know this, but there's some really notable things that the Tyrannosaurus rex had in terms of their physical features. So Tyrannosaurus rex was a theropod um, and they were bipedal, which means that they walked on their two hind limbs. So they only walked on their hind legs, which this arrow is pointing at right here. And they had really teeny tiny, very, very small forelimbs, limbs, which means their arms were super short. So you can see here, they had really, really tiny arms, um, but they had two claws they had two fingers and on the end of their fingers, their digits were these really super sharp and super powerful claws. And that is what is really notable about the Tyrannosaurus rex. They had really, really powerful muscular hind legs and then really teeny tiny forearms. But they were so powerful, these forearms, they could use their forearms to actually rip into their food. So they were super powerful and they were really sharp. 
Now, Tyrannosaurus rex also had a massive skull and they had 60 teeth. And the smallest tooth that they had was nine inches long. And the biggest tooth that they had was 12 inches. 12 inches is a whole ruler. So that was the biggest size tooth that they had was 12 inches. And the biggest skull that was ever found of a Tyrannosaurus rex was five feet long, which is really, really long. Now, Tyrannosaurus rex could grow up to 40 feet long. So that means when they were spread out sideways from the tip of their head all the way to the end of their tail, they were 40 feet and they could grow up to 20 feet tall. So if you think about a human that's five feet tall, that was four humans stacked on top of each other. That's really tall. And their weight, they had a huge range in their weight. So they could weigh up to 13,000 pounds, but they could weigh as much as 32,000 pounds, which is huge. Now, what did the Tyrannosaurus Rex eat? Now, they were most well known for being a carnivore, which means that they were a meat-eating dinosaur and they would likely prey only on other dinosaurs. Um, and they would use their super strong teeth to help them eat their food. So you can see their teeth here. This is an up close shot of their teeth. Now these are the really small teeth and they were nine inches long, but then these really huge big teeth, these were 12 inches really, really big. Now each tooth, it's kind of hard to tell in this picture, but each tooth that they had, had a really tiny serrated edge and that would help them tear into their food. And when they bit down on their food, their bite was so strong that it would have exploded solid bone. So their force was so strong that if they bit into another dinosaur and they bit into their bone, it would have just exploded right on impact. So how fast was the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Well, unluckily for the T-Rex, they were not very fast. And if dinosaurs were fast enough, they could definitely run away from them. So originally it was thought that they could have run maybe like 20 to 30 miles an hour, which is pretty normal speed for like a car driving down the road. Now, this isn't true and using computer models, scientists have been able to recreate the movements of a T-Rex and they estimate they were only able to move about 12 miles an hour, which is pretty slow, but they were really big. So 12 miles an hour for something that weighed potentially 32,000 pounds, that's pretty fast. But to compare them to the fastest runner on earth, so Usain Bolt is the fastest runner on earth and he set a record in 2009 and he ran over 27 miles an hour. So that would have been over two times as fast as a T-Rex. So if you had Usain Bolt and a T-Rex in a race, Usain Bolt would have won by a lot. So what are some fun facts about the T-Rex? So the T-Rex has inspired many, many, many different monsters and characters in all different forms of media. And the most famous of these characters is Godzilla, who has appeared in video games, TV shows, comics, and almost 40 movies in the last 100 years. And some of these characters might look really familiar to you guys. So I know a lot of you guys have probably seen Toy Story. We've got the T-Rex from Toy Story. And then this is a Transformer T-Rex. And then this is Godzilla. So the skeleton of a T-Rex is believed to have about 380 bones. And in 1990, a dinosaur named Sue was discovered. And this is Sue right here. Um, but her skeleton only has about 250 of the 380 bones that the T-Rex is thought to have had. And up until a few years ago, it was actually considered to be um, the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton that has ever existed. But in 2006, move this a little bit so you guys can see this picture a little bit better. In 2006, a fossil hunter named Clayton Phipps, he found one of the biggest and most complete dinosaur fossils ever. Now it's kind of hard to see here, but if you look really closely, you can actually see one dinosaur skeleton here and the other one here. And they named this fossil the dueling dinosaurs. And it contains what scientists believe to be a Tyrannosaurus rex and a Triceratops intertwined into one fossil. Now, they don't know if the dinosaurs were fighting when they died or if it was just a coincidence, they kind of happened to die at the same spot and then their fossils 
um, were like discovered together, um, but they're now in that position forever. And they're gonna be on display in a year or two, in 2022, um, in a museum in North Carolina. So that is it for the T-Rex. Um, and since we're all finished with this dinosaur, we're gonna put it on the map. And each week we're gonna add uh, the next dinosaur. And then at the end, we'll have all the dinosaurs on the world map to show where they would have lived. So you can see here, so we talked about at the beginning, the T-Rex lived in Western North America. So here he is in Western North America on the map. And then next week, we're going to tune in and we'll explore a new dinosaur, the biggest flying reptile of prehistoric times. Dinosaur, Quetzalcoatlus. So we'll tune in. See you next time.